17-year-old Afreen Ramjeet, who has five illnesses, is once again reaching out to the public for help. The teen and her mother came to public attention after their story was aired on primetime news almost two years ago. The two suffered heavy losses last December after robbers stole money, some of which was needed to pay for surgery. Here's Kirk Wright with the follow-up. Remember Afreen Ramjeet, the vibrant teen from Glengoff in St. Catherine with the five illnesses? Well, lately she has not been doing well and has been in and out of hospital. So I took her to the hospital and explained to them where they're telling me that the things them inside of her, they're getting larger and some is also in her tube and they're stretching out her tube and it can cause, cause births or cause her to in problem. Yes, and stuff like that. So it's possible where a tube can burst at any time. Afrin is home most of the time, except on days when her mother has to rush her to the hospital or when she needs to run errands. Last school year was bad for Afreen. Some days she either had to leave school abruptly or could not attend because of her illnesses. Um, the fact that I was already having difficulties going to school um, before with the illnesses and now condition has gotten a little worse than before. So, you know, when I'm supposed to be in school, I'm not in school and I miss out a lot of learning. Um, trust me, my teachers, um, they have to like give me like spare times and, um, try to help me to catch up back on the past subjects that I missed. There is some times where, in some times where she have to, like at home, but, but, and like two weeks, she at home two weeks, couldn't go to school because she continued getting sick at school. And when it seemed things could get no worse, it did. A robbery at their home in Glengough last December set them back drastically. The two left home on December 4 to get food supplies and returned home only to find that persons broke into their house and stole everything, including her gadgets, for school. They mash up the window for come in, they mash up the wall of the, the room for go into the room and everything. And what we take us like we lose, we lose. I also have her surgery money. I have other money along with her surgery money. I was supposed to do the surgery and the test, but we was waiting on something from the doctor to start the process with the surgical. I went there. To give them the money, but then said I have to do a lot of tests first, and they were waiting on them. They do a small surgery that before, so we're waiting on the result from that small surgery to know what else to do. So now, Afreen's surgery and the necessary medical tests cannot be done while she continues to suffer excruciating pain daily. Her mother, Alicia Reynolds, also has her own illnesses to contend with and also needs to do surgery. But with no money to make the first move, the two are once again calling on the public to assist. Firstly, the help that I need is to get the surgery done for her, get the test them done first, because we have to do the test them first. She have a lot of tests to do, and we have to do all of those first before the surgery process starts. So we have a lot of tests to do, where they cause a lot of money. You have like, I'm telling you about like seventy thousand dollars for one of the tests. Them you have like fifty, forty. Those price of yeah. She says the surges are expected to cost much more. The two say their living conditions have improved thanks to the help they received after their story was first aired on primetime news. But they still reside in the dilapidated structure in Glengoff. Persons wishing to help the couple can reach them at 876-425-8109. That's 876-425-8109. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.